Jenkins, new shave you today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, before we get started, I would like to say thank you, thank you, oh, thank you too. Oh, dude, thank you too. When you reach another milestone on this channel, we reach 200 subscribers. We rock, right? <laughs> so we'll be doing another giveaway soon, so. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks. You guys make it, you guys make it, and you guys make it what it is. Otherwise, I'd be alone talking to myself on a camera. So, yeah, 200, I think it's at 205 or 206. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we rock. So, now, I got tagged in a video. So we're going to be doing kind of uh last week the group theme for uh, rich man shaving group was budget week i did a live shave but i didn't do an actual youtube video so i actually got tagged by mark at mc shaving he tagged me to do a budget shave so i'll put a uh, link down below to his channel so we you know give him a check check him out give him give him a subscription <laughs> give him a like so yeah he uh tagged me in a video i'm like all right man okay I had stuff lined up but i'm like we're gonna do it and like he said like he said it kind of fits with the last video that we did with cartridge we're not gonna do again <laughs> so yeah theme is budget shaving so that's what we're gonna do budget shave tag video so everything i use i'm using pretty much the same exact stuff i used when i did the rich man shaving uh, live video for the theme of the week of that so let's Let's get into it. The razor we're going to be using today is very, very inexpensive razor and readily, readily available on eBay. And you can pick them up fairly cheap. I picked this one up for like eight dollars, so and it was like free shipping. But it's the Gillette Tech um, Bakelite. So and it's got the Gillette on top. Just a Gillette Tech, very, very affordable, mild razor. If you want to do try a mild razor, if you're converting from cartridge, like last video getting into like de shaving but we're not gonna be trying to break the bank buying like a 300 dollar razor or a 500 dollar brush or 30 40 dollar um so we're gonna be using stuff that you can pick up at like walmart or walgreens or cvs or kroger or fries wherever you you know like grocery store stuff grocery store style top stuff top stuff learn how to speak so yes gillette tech razor this one is a w1 code And blade we're going to be using today, same blade I used last time. It's the <clears throat> Big Chrome Platinum Second Use. That's where we're loading up. Now you're probably thinking, where the heck are you at, Chris? That's not your shave den, dude. Well, it's kind of my old shave den at my parents' house. So this is my bathroom. Well, the guest bathroom, but I don't get very many guests. <laughs> but yeah, this is my bathroom that I use for like. <clears throat> like 13 or 14 years so yeah towels yeah it used to be in like i still live in like space that stuff you should see the uh um shower curtain but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> so that's in there yeah very mild razor and not pretty good blade too i mean it's not very expensive um little overhang gotta be worried about worry about a little bit and yeah now soap we're going to be using the same soap i use this is arco um it smells like dove like or ivory soap or 1980s laundromat so very very inexpensive like two bucks so this is what we're going to use now you can see it's like cut because i cut it because i actually mashed some in my bowl that way i'm not getting water everywhere and uh slopping water so we're just going to try and load that the brush up in my bowl we're gonna do it that way so let's get it started water should be heated up plus there's on i think it's supposed to be 102 105 today Okay, appreciate we're going to be using. Very inexpensive too. Being starch and accoutrements, ice tube, epic pre shave 2.0, mentholated. Travel tube too. So if you're traveling, you can take, I, I think you could take this on a plane. I mean, it's not, nothing bad. I'm not sure I don't fly. But yeah, 
that's for using me. I appreciate you. For the appreciate Need a lot of water, cause it's really dry in Arizona today. Yeah, get that on there. Yeah, it's getting all watery. <laughs> 1.0 in the shower. I brought it with me, so. <laughs> I had like my uh, plastic bag, I had all my stuff, so. I traveled over here. <laughs> Get that going. So I got that going for me. You got that going for you? Okay, I think that's good. A little bit of water in my hand. I'm gonna rub it in. Because you need good pre shave with, especially the Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements pre shave, good residual slickness because that R coat, it lathers very good, but it doesn't really have very good residual slickness. So when you shave it, it's it's pretty dry. You're not like, oh, I can go over it over and over. So using this pre-shave to kind of counteract that. Because this is really slick. All right, we good. Yes, tag video. We're going to shave. DE budget shave, so if you're getting into DE razors and stuff, yeah. Brush we're going to be using today is very inexpensive. Um, it is the Phoenix Artist and Accoutrance Pettigrino 24mm Phoenix Shaving Brush. Less than 20 bucks. Um, Roswell Synth 24mm not. Uh, yeah. So, let's get it heated up. Oh, I forgot the glycerin. Oh, oh well. We'll have to do it without the glycerin. So let's load this up. Yeah. <laughs> now I've never done the arco like this before in a bowl. So let's see. You see right there, it's already loading up, lathering very, very well. But yeah. I wanted to see because I've used the um, arco shave stick before, but just do it where you rub it on your face and then you rub the brush on the actual shave stick and then do it that way. I wanted to put it in the bowl, so let's see how it goes. Might have put too much, but oh well, I can still work with it. <laughs> Come out nice though, actually. I've never done this with a, never done this with a shave stick before. Maybe we better get that Allen block ready. I said I did travel, right? Come on, open. You're wasting time. Some alum on my fingers, just cause they're not all slippity 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 giggity 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 goo. Alright, let's get that loaded up. Yeah, there's a lot more in there, but we don't have to worry about it. It should be good. So, yeah. I'm just gonna roll with this, cause that's not bad. Does make a good lather though, so two bucks. Some people like the smell, some people don't. It's like an ivory or like a dove uh, bar soap scent. Or like a 1980s laundromat. That's what this reminds me of. But whatever. That's what we're using. Ah, it's different in here. Let me take the paper down. I can't see. Get that on there. Budget, budget friendly, very cheap. I said less than 20 bucks, very good brush too. Synthetic brush. Yeah, that's good. It's a good lather of the day right there. Magnifique. With the Arco. No way I could do that shave cave thing. You guys are uh, following a uh, shave cave? He's like, 
get the tape on here and he's all like dude i can't do that how do you how do you do that <laughs> keep raising up now block on my finger and pass number one uh, let's see so i can still see still a little slick but I think it's more of the pre-shave that's giving me that slickness. But yeah. DE razor, little to almost no pressure. Cartridge razor, yes, you gotta push it down a little bit. Now you're getting into DE shaving. That's one big thing you need to break your habit of is pushing that razor into your face. Because it's a lot different. Yes, there's a safety bar on there. But there's also some razors like a Molar 41 where it's pretty exposed and open, has good blade cap. It will cut you if you try using it like you would use a cartridge razor. So, yeah. keep that in mind. It's a big chrome, big, big chrome platinum I really like. Pretty good affordable blade. And then I picked up about 25 of them, I believe. Yeah. From overseas. Uh, I believe it was like less than 20 bucks for 25 blades. So that's a pretty good deal for a big platinum chrome. Big chrome platinums. I actually saw Paul H. Films first used those. And I was like, hmm, I know, make, I know Big makes pens. And really bad disposable razors. They make lighters too. Yeah, okay. Budget shave. Still get a good close shave with minimal, minimally priced stuff. Just in case you're not really into it, but I mean, why would you not be into it and keep going? It's like, why don't you get it down? You're like, oh yeah. And I don't have a spray bottle here, so can't do the, uh, <laughs> but we need more soap down here. Good. I'll try to do a shaky thing. Ah, oh, no, no, I'm messing my clothes up. <laughs> shaky. I got that cool, that cool sailor hat, man. I think that's so cool. You got that that hat. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. And see, with a cartridge, wash, wash, wash. DE blade, double edge, just flip it over, and you got another another side to use. Now you wash off. I always like writing, always like writing my top cap. Put it here, then I come down until I fill the blade, then I'll feather it and use it that way. I don't like doing this. This is my style. It's little to no pressure. What do you know about pressure? Think with Einhorn. Einhorn Finkel. Finkel was a man. <laughs> you guys remember the movie, right? Okay, that's a little dry right there, so. Yeah, see how it's a little cracky looking? You don't want that. You want it to be like yogurt. Or like Cool Whip. If it's too much water, it's too runny. Too little water, then it gets cakey, it gets dried up, and then you're gonna cut yourself.
and you don't want to cut yourself. So if you're just starting out doing a DE razor shaving, you cut yourself a bunch, you're not going to want to do it. I chopped myself up pretty good when I first DE razor shaved. Didn't know what I was doing, didn't know the angle, didn't know nothing, and I was doing it cartridge style. Messed me up. But I kept going. You will get better. I still cut myself, but I still keep going. Last two. Put a little bit more water in here. I'll rip it up. Almost dropped an F bomb right there. <laughs> Chop it up. Get all them bubbles out. Bubbles and Nemo is okay. Bubbles! Bubbles and shaving too. Nah, you don't want no bubbles. No bubbles. My bubbles. Oh, that's good. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I know, because the camera, sorry. See if that is like bright. My mustache, I'm done. I'm good. I usually do down strokes. Yeah, I'm good. Looks like it's still like hair there, but no, that's fine. I haven't got it to where I can go um, like a third pass against the green. I haven't really learned how to do that yet, and me, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, it's your face, your shave, you shave how you want. I just like doing, I like to do down stroke. And then come across a little bit. And I'm good with my mustache. How I like doing my mustache. I personally don't need to do a third pass. It's, I'm fine, so. Pass two. Still a little slick. Like I said, I believe that's the... P.A.B. pre-shave, though. What are you doing? <laughs> doing third, but we're going back with this. Okay. That's it. You get used to it. It was real strong to me at first, the arc. I was like, ooh. 1980s laundry, laundry flakes. <laughs> the flakes, cheap, cheap flakes you used to use. But it works. I mean, shave with it. Not the laundry flakes. No, I wouldn't. You got detergent and stuff for your clothes. I don't think that would be good to rub on your face.
There you go, my problem area, nothing. <laughs> Rock it out. No, not the wheel. Okay. I believe we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Nick there. Yeah, clean up in the sink. Be right back. Okay, on um, my... Yeah, heaper. Uh, heaper. That one there. I got myself right there, too. Oh, I don't have a stick here. Styptic stick here, but yes. BBX, yes, yes. Very, very close. Very smooth. Very inexpensive. Tech Razor. Readily available. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that feels good. So, Allen Block. Peter Allen Block. Sting. No nicks though, I mean. It stings a little bit because I got the angle wrong. This, is, this will tell you if you DE shaved good or not. Or straight razor shaved it. Will it stop your bleeding? <laughs> but it's an astringent. And until it's a telltale thing, it tells you if you shave good or not. Or if you use the wrong angle, or yeah, very good. Okay, uh. control. Okay, <clears throat> post shave we're going to be using today is very, very inexpensive. A few bucks, like I said, Walgreens or Walmart or CVS or any place like that. But man, <laughs> stuff I grew up on using when I um, cartridge shaved. We used this last time too, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Skin freezer. So we're using it again. Very inexpensive. You can use it out if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, that old school cement. That old school scent. I like it. Get them triplets going. Damn drummers. Paradiddles. No, flams. Okay, we're done. Now, you can also use, I didn't bring it with me, there's the Nevia. Pretty inexpensive as well. Um, yeah. Hey, man. Forgot I had this. One moment. We got two. See, there's the gel. Gillette gel. Or there's the Gillette lotion. We're going to use lotion. Well, Use the gel. We used this last time. We're gonna use the gel today. Very inexpensive as well. Just like the Nevia, pretty inexpensive, and yeah. Gets the job done pretty good. <sighs> Put that back in there. <laughs> nice scent. Nice, clean, fresh scent. Smells good. I just liked it. Pretty inexpensive. Dun, 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 dun. I got money and you know it. <laughs> but your shave and show it. Very good. Very good shave. Bam, very good. Now this was a tag video that I got tagged in, but I think everyone's already been tagged and I'm not gonna tag anybody because I don't know who else to tag, so. So, yeah. I'm not gonna tag nobody. But we're gonna recap what we used today. Gillette Aftershave Gel. Very inexpensive. We used that. Put that back in there. 
He also used today Skin Bracer Original Aftershave. <laughs> Ortho Shave Stick, cut off the top and put it in the bowl. Very good, very good lather, but yeah, I mean, two bucks. You travel, leave it at the hotel room or something, you, lose, you lost two bucks, who cares? If you put one of your artesian soaps and lose that, it's like, oh my god, but yeah, very inexpensive budget. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements Pre-Shave Ice Tube 2.0 Mentholated Tech. PA Allen Book. Oh. PA Allen Book. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements Peregrino 24mm Brush. Yeah. Gillette. I forgot what year. Gillette Tech Razor. Big LA Handle. Um, Big Chrome Platinum. D-Blade second use. So, that's what we use. Okay. Oh, a little blood there. I didn't see that before. Hm. Those diptic stick. <laughs> but that's cheap for today. So, kind of a budget thing, and yeah, kind of like a corporate progression from using a cartridge to starting DE. And yeah, so more to come soon. So, Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, have a good week, good shaves. Got more to come pretty soon, and uh, yeah. 200 subscribers. <laughs> we rock. <laughs> See you guys soon.